True Blood is ready for season seven and next week's spoilers and sneak peek. Sunday's episode of True Blood revealed a ton. Is it possible that Warlow isn't the bad guy that we thought he was? And will Eric and Pam really battle it out till the true death? First things first, take a look at next week's promo. You made another vampire. I did. Here we go. Let's just pray we can fix you. Now you're playing God. Jason Stackhouse, have you killed many vampires this week? Jessica! It's happening. I see you, Steve Newland. I had nothing to do with this. Everything going on here is all on you. No, it is all on you. Can Bill actually save Jessica and the rest of the vampires from vamp camp? Well, on Sunday, we will see him seek out Lilith for some advice on handling the human vampire war. We will also see Eric, Pam, Nora, Jessica, and Tara deal with the hardships of the camp, which I think is more like a jail. And you guys, in episode seven, we will also see Eric pledge his allegiance to Bill. And speaking of episode seven, there have been a lot of rumors swirling around the episode because of its title, The Funeral. True Blood will be losing a major character, and we actually had Rutina Wesley, AKA Tara, stop by the studio to talk all about it. Take a look at what she had to say about the episode. You mentioned survival. Mm -hmm. There's an episode coming up called The Funeral. Uh, yes. Everyone, I can't even begin to tell you, is so concerned about who, who's gonna have a funeral. It's a beautiful song, by the way, too. This, song. Oh, cause, the, right. Yeah. Uh, is it Eric, is it Bill, is it, what, give us a hint. Will we um, cry? You want me to tell you who it is? Yes. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. I love my job too much. Will we, cr will I we can, cry? I can, uh, yes. Um, okay. I can tell you this much. When we had the table read for it, there was a, at least a like 15 minute um, applause and tears and um, applause. it was beautiful. Yeah, applause. Um, As it in was, it was such an amazing thing or they liked how the person went out? It's we're a family. And when we lose someone, um, oh whoever gosh. that is, even like from our guest stars to our recurring current people, it's we're close, uh -huh. and it just it pulls it pulls at the heartstrings when we lose people, um, and so it was one of those moments where you know the applause went on forever and ever and ever. People were crying, and we, I mean we kept reading, but like it was we stopped for a minute and like let that sink in and gave that person their due. To watch our full interview with her, I've pasted the link in the description box below, and trust me, she reveals a ton, so you will want to check it out. Also, my friends, good news, HBO announced yesterday that True Blood will be back for season seven, with Brian Buckner returning as the showrunner. I'm excited. Now, we have a lot to discuss. Is Warlow as bad as we thought, or does he really have Sookie's best interest in mind? And do you think Eric will kill Pam or vice versa? Who do you think could be the one to face the true death? Let me know below and then subscribe for all the latest on True Blood and the rest of your favorite shows. In Hollywood, I'm your host Katie Krause. Thanks for watching and bye for now. All right, you guys, I was going through all of the comments on Tara's interview from True Blood and you guys got really creative. A lot of you are really, really freaked out about the funeral episode. Jasmine Murrell said, I've only cried once from a TV death and it was Buffy's mom. If Pam dies, I will bawl like a small child whose candy was stolen. I'm right there with you. Please, please, we cannot lose Pam. I totally agree. XXO Grulez XX said, I love True Blood. Katie, please do more interviews with another cast members. And I love True Blood. I want to interview the entire cast. Who else do you guys want to see in our studio? Let me know below, comment, Thumbs up this video, get creative, send me over a tweet. I'll see you guys later. Bye.